and welcome to the new video on industrial instrumentation and automation so we applications of transducers so in this video we discuss variable reluctance tachometer variable reluctance principle working tachometer we discuss okay so this is the arrangement of that or setup this is a tooth rotor then you have a magnetic pickup then you have an electronic counter root transformer in the session electronic counter in the retail with already in the arrangement in the end of the in the principle of area on the other one today electronic counter counter where an angle in the load and that you get in the pulses I think it in the also pulsed out on what I've written in the months like I'm being out of magnetic pickup which is clear than the night you can and though we change in a corresponding I to what I do see and we need a room indexion of principle in the legacy I'm in order to the rotor I don't know he's in a movie on a rotate team more corresponding I to what I in the he cut in a flex in the little martin bill my answer John what I am of inducing the other thing on it what I look on the counter you pulses account in the other basic elements like a few diagram I can I am in guilt it in the working number and will it would be yeah okay so it consists of a metallic tooth rotor mounted on the shaft whose speed is to be measured a dish after on a machine speed machine each other in a mold of mounted it la metallic tooth rotor on a metallic tooth rotor uh, and a magnetic pickup is placed near the tooth rotor. Tooth rotor and the tighter to make a pickup which is in there. And this magnetic pickup consists of a housing containing a small permanent magnet. This is a small permanent magnet, C-shaped permanent magnet, or which a coil is wound around it. But then a molar coil wound it. Okay. So then in the arrangement to another, you just brief it to burn up one little loop, but then just para on the loop. So when the rotor rotates, rotor in a clockwise direction on the jerky when the rotor rotates, what happens? The reluctance of the air gap between the pickup and the tooth rotor changes. Like reluctance changes. Karim chalas and the in a end of a top portion of the case other crest to fall on a little one on the canvas. So when the rotor rotates, the reluctance of the air gap between the pickup and the Tooth rotor changes giving rise to an induced EMF in the pickup. So there will be an induced EMF because uh, this is continuously rotating. So there will be an induced EMF in the pickup, uh, pickup coil and this output is in the form of pulses with a variety of uh, wave shape. So pulses and the frequency of the pulses pulse in the frequency that the speed line rotating. So the frequency of the pulses uh, pulses of the induced voltage will depend upon the number of teeth teeth of the rotor and its speed of rotation so ethra teeth in the line depending on the speed of rotation teeth are already fixed right on which it now so obviously finally and the speed of rotation in search i can read them quite calibrate him okay so since the number of teeth is known the speed of rotation can be determined by measuring the frequency of the pulses right uh, with an electronic counter puru electronic counter adinana podu vechittulla appo idana indha basic aayittla kaaryam ippo namukku diagram ariyan engil namukku adil ninnu parayan pattana kaaryangal mathre ullu appo adu already yan parana kaaryangal ode ezhidirikkunnana so the output is in the form of pulses and the frequency of the pulses uh, of the induced voltage will depend upon the number of teeth and the speed since the number of teeth is known the speed of rotation can be determined by measuring the frequency of the pulses right so if the number of teeth is capital T and the rotational speed is n RPS and number of pulses per second is P. Number of pulses per second P n equal to P by T RPS Newton or P by 60 into T R P by T into 60 RPM. But then one thing you just to number of pulses per revolution and the very pulses T T and T the poor revolutionally around the pulses known at T Arikum. Therefore, speed can be given by pulses per second by T. Right. So it is P by T. That is RPS. That is RPM. That is into 60. So P by T into 60 RPM. So we have to say that we have to count the number of pulses. Count the number of pulses. Count the number of pulses. Directly. So the typical rotor has 60 teeth. And thus if a counter counts 60 pulses. It will directly display the speed in RPM. So we have to say that the speed will be displayed. So we have to say that the advantages are it is simple and direct construction then again maintenance is free and it is easy to calibrate because this has been uh, already the rotor has 60 teeth and the uh, state and the 
pulses are counted by the counter in one second the count displayed by the counter gives the speed directly like 60 an angle correct direct at the speed of the counter then get down the line and the information uh, information from this steward can be easily transmitted easy to include the information transmit can be okay so that is all about variable reluctance tachometer